Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Enzo Signori, the Chief Marketing Officer for Quantergy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You've had a big announcement, which is that uh, you are partnering with Geely. That's right. Geely is partnering with you. We're partnering, and uh, it's a great uh, uh, partnership. Geely is one of the That's biggest uh, car manufacturers in the world, one of the most innovative. Uh, Everyone in the world. pretty much knows Volvo. Exactly. They own Volvo, they own the Lotus, uh, they have a partnership with other uh, manufacturers, so it's a very established, very innovative company. And uh, they have a very strong connection with the government in China. So they develop a number of smart city initiatives. Yes. Uh, one in Nimbo, which is uh, near Shanghai, where they equip about 11 interceptions, uh, intersections with uh, LiDAR systems so they can actually automate the flow of cars and avoid pedestrians being hit by cars in, uh, in a very busy environment. And we're partnered with them, so we're providing the LiDAR sensors and the perception software that go into the intersections to provide this smart city initiative. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we have a car yeah. and that we're out in the wild on the streets. Yes. So we're gonna have some LiDARs out on, in the street yeah. and some on the car. Yeah. And we're going to, uh, you're going to tell me what would actually happen. Sure. This would be your Solid state 3-8. That's right. This is a solid state uh, product, the only 100% solid state product in the industry. Um, so why does it matter? Because there are no moving parts inside. And so you're dealing with cars, you're dealing with trucks with high vibrations. And so if there would be mechanical components like a spinning components or MEMS or all different All the devices, jiggling that would All happen. the jiggling, all yeah. the, will could actually create a noise and would actually potentially break. Yes. And so you don't want to have a very expensive piece of equipment to be able to impact a, a, a car. Yes. So we develop a solid state solution so that no moving parts. We use a technology called OPA or optical phase array. So we're using the beam, the, off, the phase of the light to actually change the direction of the beam. It's so would this go 180 degree then? So this version has 100 degrees. Yes. So typically we put maybe one on this side and one on the other side to cover virtually the whole space in front of you. Okay. Maybe two in the back. So also for if you're backing up, if you're if you see if there's a car coming behind you, we can do like a blind spot detection. So for self parking, so multiple application, you can use a kind of a to if, build a shield around the car. If you were to put it on top, would it have a 360 degree, or would you have to put? You put multiple, in this version yeah. multiple, that's right. I, I that's see. Right. So we've got the vehicle, but the vehicle <laughs> has to talk to the infrastructure. That's right. So you've got vehicle to infrastructure with your L, uh, M8s up here. That's correct. And what are they? So the one you see on, over there is uh, the mechanical product, the M8. Um, and it's designed to provide a very high accuracy um, uh, what's called a point cloud. So we generate 1.3 million pulses per second. And this is uh, rotating on 360 degrees. So we'll create an image, a 3D image, around the sensor itself. Okay. Why does it matter? Because with this information, you can map precisely the uh, traffic of cars or people around an intersection. And you can see this happening right here. You can see exactly here. So this yes. is the software. Here we are. Here we are, exactly. Yes. So that's Cortex. That's our machine learning and artificial intelligence software. Each one of these squares is a person, one of us, right? Um, so as soon as we come in the field of view, the software will, with a sensor, will determine if there is a person. And once there is enough point, enough information, we say, okay, this is truly a human. And so we'll put an ID associated with that person. Right. That ID will stay with you as long as you are in the field of view. Now, you say that you own the software also. Yes. Do you own the software that then will, uh, that will track whether it's a human or, or an object? A vehicle. That's right. It's the same software. So here, since we have uh, mostly people, we are tracking uh, people. But if you put the same software intersection, you can see actually vehicles and people at the same time. And so you can distinguish between the two of them. And so this enables, uh, for instance, to send information back to the car. So let's say you can see a pedestrian crossing the street, then the car will see the information say, look, there is a pedestrian at 20 meters in front of you, you might want to slow down. Okay. Um, or the same information about the car can go to the intersection says that we have so many cars coming, keep the lights on green, as opposed to flash it to, uh, to, uh, to red. And so all this information automated in smart city, so make the cities safer, make the pedestrians safer, and also increase the flow of people and flow of cars in the, in the city itself. You've got more than one of these LiDARs That's up right. here. 
what, is there the point where they're all talking to each other and then talking to the infrastructure? That's right. Or it always talks to the to the car. They're both both ways, because the lidar has to pass information of us from one sensor to the other, right? So if we're going from one sensor to the next one, we want to keep the ID so we know it's the same person. Um, and the same way the information will occur between the sense, the servers and the cars, mm -hmm. so they can provide information back to the cars so they control the traffic at the same time. Have you heard of th this talking then to someone who has an iPhone saying, hold on, there, there's a car coming? That's the next step, is basically the information should go to a mobile device, right? Uh, so be easier so that you can actually get on your mobile device as well. That's right. It's a very interesting time for us, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. And so thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.